The Texas 100 Most Congested Road Section Project began with uh, the Transportation Planning Programming Division of TxDOT back in 2009 when the legislature asked TxDOT to begin tracking traffic congestion in the urban areas, metro areas of the state and the Texas 100, as most people call it, project uh, began at that time. One of the benefits of the Texas 100 list is it identifies where the problems are and begins a, a public discussion about how important transportation is. I think it's really easy for us to get wrapped up in the numbers that we have, but taking that to the public is more a matter of telling a story, making sure people understand how much time and money they're spending on the road. This project allows for a ranking of traffic congestion locations so that then when the solutions become discussed, decision makers can then aim funding or aim projects and programs at those locations to try to, uh, to solve congestion in those, those areas. The basic process for creating that Texas 100 list is we have a map of speeds and we have a map of volumes and we stick those together. It's a really complicated process, but basically it allows us to talk about where we have lots of traffic going very slowly. That's going to create a lot of delay, a lot of extra travel time. That's what causes uh, extra fuel consumption and uh, higher congestion costs. And then we start creating ways to talk to the public about it. That's where we, we come in with uh, a range of different performance measures that speak to not just average travel time, but unreliable travel time, takes you longer on some days to get somewhere. That sort of discussion all comes out of the numbers. So the Texas 100, you know, 10 or so years ago when we, when we were getting involved in this, was one of the early adopters of the GPS speed data that we get from private sector companies in that, that it, it's no longer we're out there measuring things with loops in the pavement or something. We're getting data that's coming from GPS probes moving around in the urban areas. So what we do is we match that up with TxDOT roadway inventory data that has traffic information number of vehicles, the number of trucks. We marry those two things up and from that we can calculate delay, things like travel time index, the cost of congestion and those sorts of things. We're providing the information to the public and to TxDOT about where the problems are. What do we do about it is a much bigger effort. These could be a whole range of different solutions. Adding lanes is one you think of naturally, but uh, clearing the crashes and stalled vehicles, timing the traffic signals, adding transit, adding lanes on parallel roads, not just the road with a problem. So there's a whole range of problems that are a whole lot more complicated than just putting together a list of where those problems are. We've also developed some tools for local agencies. For example, the COMPAT tool, the Congestion Management Process Analysis Tool. It brings this congestion information down to the local area so that the MPO can see the same statistics that we calculate for Texas 100. They can see them on most of the major roads in their region. In addition to that, the freight office of TPMP has taken the truck side of the congestion statistics into what is called TCAT, the truck congestion analysis tool, so that they can keep track of where the bottlenecks are for truck traffic in the state. One of the things that we like in this project is that we're able to use the advancements in data science that we get from looking at this very complicated data. It's something that not only helps the state and TxDOT, uh, but it also helps other state DOTs learn from what TxDOT is doing. Texas 100 probably can't lay claim to say I solve congestion anywhere in the state of Texas. But if you look at all the things, the tools, the uses of this data that are now in, in play in the state of Texas, I would say it's money well used. And so we're being used quite a bit now in the early planning stages of what's a solution going to be.